In this week edition of Celebrity Profile, and in Lagos, in the residence of Dr. Cosmas Madoka, the Chief Executive Officer, Constaris Group of Companies, to have a chat with his wife, Mrs. Charity Madoka. Let's go inside the house to meet her. <laughs> Businesswoman of international standard. She's no other person than Mrs. Charity Madoka. She's the vice chairman of the group of companies and the wife of the chief executive officer of the group of companies. Madam, welcome to Celebrity Profile. Thank you very much. There is something in a name we are told. Madam, your name is Charity. Yes. And they say charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. What's the magic behind this name? Well, thank you very much. Um, there's no magic. I think um, God, who is in heaven, that knows all of us, made my parents to give me the name, Charity. So that's the magic, if there is any. So this name was jointly given to you by your father and your mother? Yes. Can you tell us about your family background? I mean, about um, your father, your mother, your position in your family? My body name is Ike Dife. I was born to Mr. Frederick Ike Dife and Mrs. Uh, Janet uh, Ike Dife. We are prime in number and Number six. You're number six in position in your family. Yes. But then where were you born? Well, I was born in Jos, uh, Plateau State, in the year 1958. How was it growing up like? Growing up as a young girl, it was not that easy. I mean, then, immediate to me was um, a boy who was blind, and so he was caught up with the war in Lagos, um, in the school of the blind. So automatically I become the senior in the house, and that puts much responsibility of me, you know, 
Mm, I remember back then, my father, my mother, my father was a farmer, and my mother was, um, you know, a petty trader. And the only thing we survived through the war was uh, fine akara and selling it. So by four a.m. I see myself getting up, you know, helping my mother to wash the beans, and then I have to trek like five miles to, you know, go and grind the beans and come back home before I go to school.